Well, hi there, it's Sandy Alnock with another week of 30 Days of Bible Lettering. If you missed last week's video, I will link to that at the end of this one so you can hear more about it. But I wanted to show you what I've made this week. This first one, of course, was last week's, the first verse in this one. And you could see me color that over on the previous video. But today I'm going to flip through everything else that I've made this week and show you a few highlights here and there. So this one, my thought process was to have an arrow into the heart. So God will go straight to the heart of your needs, is what I was thinking. And so as I started working on this one, and I had my sketch that I had done this with, I realized that if this is an arrow, it doesn't need just a point on it. It's going to need the other side of it. So I'm taking the sketches that I did and that are over on Instagram. You can see them in the link in the doobly-doo. I'm taking those sketches and kind of changing things up a little bit as I get to the final. If I think of a better idea or a different interpretation or something to add to it. So on this one, I added the feathers on the back of the arrow. And this one I may do in my Bible at some point because I just love the idea. There's a lot of verses where God gets to the heart of the problem and he, he deals with the heart of the issue to meet our needs. So I thought that one was really fun and we'll have some practical application in my Bible journaling going forward. So then we have, the Lord has been good to you. And I kept the sketch really simple. But when I got to the finished one, I decided to add a gift because he has given me so many gifts. So I just made a little square with a tag on it with the word you. And I thought about putting me on there. If I do it in my Bible, I might actually put my name on that because the Lord has been good to Sandy and I need to remember that. And this is watercolor pencil. So I'm going over the watercolor pencil with a teeny tiny brush and just a little bit of water. This part I'm doing on water, not watercolor paper, on drawing paper. And watercolor paper would have been better. So the whole time I've been working on this all week, I've sort of been wishing I had done it on watercolor paper, but there you go because I already started it on drawing paper and I was just going to plow through. But as long as I didn't use too much water, I seem to be doing okay with this. Haven't had any major foibles as of yet. So there's my little gift box to go with. The Lord has been good to me. The next one up, and these are going on each day, this one made me think of in every situation. And I was I was thinking of those in, emer in case of emergency break glass type of signage. And that brought to mind just, let's just throw some really fun lightning bolts in here because there are situations when you just need to present your request to God and stop trying to fix it yourself and do it with prayer and thanksgiving, just like he says. And when we do that, everything works out. We just don't always remember to do, well, I'm going to keep it at me. I don't always remember to do that. So this is another one that may end up in my Bible at some point too. And that's one of the things I love about challenges like this. It gives me lots of seeds of ideas that I can use in later Bible journaling. And here's another one. I was trying to figure out the what to do with the verse because there, were, there was a whole list of things that nothing, all these things can't separate us from the love of God. But I decided to just make a big old empty circle for the nothing. And then for the word love, I'm just doing the outside of the word love instead of drawing the word love. And that kind of just gives it a little different look, puts a little emphasis onto that word as opposed to the others. And then paint it with my teeny tiny itty bitty super tiny brush. So another one down from Romans chapter eight. The next day's verse, and you know, every day has a different verse and a different thing running through my, my head and my mind, which I also love for these challenges. And this one I wanted to show you more detail on how to make a scroll like this. Lots of verses can handle having a scroll of some sort because there's lots of proclamations God makes. And you could make this a long, tall, skinny one by just making that interior portion extend. So it's kind of like making two dog bones. My dogs love those rawhide bones. Drawing two of those with some sort of little doohickey on the ends so they look like they're curled and then put some color in it. 
And with these being watercolor pencils, this is a really easy process to do. And it works just like this in a Bible as well. I used a brown color and then a little bit of an apricot kind of color. So I have a little bit of color variation in here. And then I'm going to use a really super simple technique to blend the color, which is the old baby wipe, which I use a lot. And I use simple sticky notes to cover up the areas that I want to remain white so that you don't end up spreading that color outside of it. And it worked really well. As soon as it was dry, I just added the text, bada boom, bada bing, it was all done. So there is another one down. And of course, that's another favorite verse. I love that promise. This one, I decided to make a very small change to, so I didn't film the change. But there's that little swirl I made under the word whatever, and I turned it into a pencil. Because a lot of my work entails the artist's tools, and I like to include them in my Bible journaling. And then finally, we have the Lord bless you and keep you. And I decided to do this in a couple different tones of brown pencil so that it would feel kind of old fashioned -y. And throughout this whole project, the whole page that I'm covering with scriptures, they're all different kinds of colors and styles. And I'll talk more in a later video about how I've set that up. If you want to try something as weirdly ambitious <laughs> as this kind of project. So I will uh, share more of that as we get on in the weeks, because we have a couple more weeks left here in September. Not that I expect anyone to be as silly as me, but just in case you want to. So there we go. The Lord bless you. And now I thought I'd reveal to you what my page looks like right now. There she is with lots of empty spaces on it. So there is much of September to go. I hope you're enjoying the challenge. Go share on our Facebook group if you would like the lettering that you do, because we'd all love to see how each person is interpreting each of the verses. Thanks so much for watching. I will talk to you guys later. Links are in the doobly-doo for the group and the challenge and all that. See you later. Bye-bye.